so far we just added what you know the grid repository and then its related configuration so you can see what our application has started successfully now it's time to do what the database related activities such as create update delete and wait let's see how to do that let me start this application so go back to what you know your customer service class because here the place we have to do all the customization right so what i'm going to do now i'm simply going to inject this custom customer dao uh, interface you know let's see how to do that right so private customer dao right so that has actually what you know all the dao logic so customer dao i'll call them as a customer dao now i'm going to do what you know auto wire so i want my spring to hey spring you know please give me the implementation right the default implementation so that i can perform the grid operation on top of my database right so to do that the first step what you know we want to insert the record when i say insert the record obviously we're going to create the record right so here if you look at it this is the method who's currently responsible to what you know add the customer into the list right now instead of list we want to add it into what you know database right so now what i'm going to do i'm going to actually what you know i'm actually going to what you know command this code out for a while here we have to return the customer right so here we don't have to what you know generate any id or something because that id would be generated automatically since we used to what you know id annotation as well as what you know the generated value annotation which is responsible for generating the primary key for each and every customer object so we don't have to really worry about that so what we have to do here i have to say that hey customer dao dot i have to what you know save the customer data so let me I simply what you know call the customer data let me save that so here i'm going to return what you know the customer updated customer value that's all let me come and this code out very cool right you know we don't have to write any too much of code in order to do that right so we removed what you know all the existing code we just added only one line that is very straightforward just to get the data simply insert into what you know the table that's it right so now the same is applicable so you know once the data is inserted i just want to make sure that we are we able to what you know get this data right get the all the customer list you know how to do that so here what i have to do i have to what customer dot find there is a method called find all method so if you look at it the find all method actually what you know returns the itradable customers it's but our expectation what you know we want to return list object to the to our our clients right so have to do that you know in order to avoid this one so what we have to do you have to go back to what you know your customer rep customer dao interface you have to override the find all method so i'm going to say that find all method should return what you know list of customer instead of what you know hydratable customer object right so we've overridden that method now what i have to do go back to your customer service i'm simply going to say what you know return customer list that's it you can what you know come and this line out obviously this line is not needed so now let's quickly check what you know whether this two functionality working or not right as of now what we did we just added the customers we can what get all the customer list whatever it's added right let's check whether these two things are actually working in our application let's go to what you know your cms application let's simply start the application we'll see whether the changes are working properly or not cool the application is started successfully now go to what you know you will postman right you know i'm simply want to insert the application right so so far this this particular insertion were happening on top of the list now we're going to try with the database let's see what is going to happen right i'm simply going to send this one cool we are not getting any error right you know you can see that our customer object is created in the database right let me do it again so you can see what you know that there, there is one more record is added three four and five you can see what you know the five record is added now let me call what you know the get method because we we customize two logic right one is about uh, adding the customer another about what you know getting all the customer let's see whether whatever customers are inserted in the database we were able to get all the customer list or not cool
cool we can receive what all customer data that we inserted 